there are often solutions put out there to solve uh, the fact that rents are too high. Uh, the Greens like to talk about uh, rent freezes and things like that, economically illiterate uh, nonsense solutions. Uh, the ultimate answer to the ultimate, well, that doesn't affect it either, because uh, if you, uh, as the member well knows, and I can't believe, we, I feel like we're having, I feel like I'm stuck in a, I feel like I'm stuck in a, oh, I, Madam Chair, Madam I, Chair. I call the Honourable Chris Bishop. I feel like I'm stuck in a, in a Groundhog Day, because, you know, the entire time I've been an MP, or, or uh, yeah, the entire time I've been an MP, and Chloe swarbrick has been an MP, we've had this ongoing back and forth about capital gains taxes. Um, I invite the member to go to Sydney and Melbourne and London, all the other countries and places that have in some cases quite punitive capital gains taxes where you will find housing markets that are utterly out of control. Because the actual point is this. The actual point, the actual point is this. The only sustainable long-term way to make rents more affordable is supply of housing. That is the answer. Uh, and at the, as the member well knows herself, if she looks at the evidence from the Auckland Unitary Plan that was adopted in 2016, which has led to a big building, big uh, house building boom in Auckland, particularly around apartments and terraced housing and, and other uh, housing typologies that Auckland didn't have enough of. Uh, there's a wealth of evidence now available, and I refer the member to, to Stuart Donovan's research and some other research by uh, other urban economists, uh, that Auckland has experienced a uh, increase in rents far less than other housing markets with inflexible uh, land supply and restrictive uh, land policy. So once we liberalised the Auckland land market and made it easier to build, uh, people went and did it. Uh, and that's got to be the thrust of our housing policy generally, uh, and which is why, and the member wasn't here, which is why I go back to the point I made at the start, which is we are dealing with, or we are aiming to deal with the fundamentals of housing supply, which is land supply, infrastructure settings and getting councils to go for growth because the political economy in too many of our councils is stacked against growth. We actually want to invert the situation so that councils don't see growth as something to be ambivalent about or hostile to, but they see something, they see growth as good and that involves considering sharing um, sharing uh, the benefits of growth with them and we're taking on board the good suggestions of the ACT Party in relation uh, to that. But the fundamentals are about land supply. It's about density inside our cities and it's about uh, growth at the city fringe uh, where the infrastructure can uh, be justified and the, the economics of that uh, make sense. That is what we are focused on. That is the only sustainable answer to more affordable rents. Everything else is tinkering. Everything else is sugar hit economics. Everything else uh, feels like the right thing to do, but actually is counterproductive. And, and the proposals often put about by the Greens, and I'm, I'm pretty sure the Maori Party has been on board this uh, illogical train as well, uh, everything about rent controls is counterproductive. It means that landlords just simply don't offer properties in the market in the first place, and everybody else raises their rent, because when demand stays the same, this, I'm, I'm doing this as Economics 101, when demand stays the same and, and, supply, and supply falls, um, Guess what happens? The price goes up, uh, or, or uh, when the price is not allowed to go up uh, because because of uh, sort of Stalinist-style rent controls, when the price can't go up, they don't offer properties in the first place, uh, and that has been the experience of city after city that has looked at the well-intentioned but misguided stupidity of rent controls uh, and decided that that is a good idea. Economists don't agree on that much stuff almost universally, but there are two things. One, free trade is good. Uh, it raises uh, incomes across the board. Uh, that's the number one. And the second thing they almost universally agree on, with the exception of a few crank economists out there, the second thing they agree on is that rent controls are counterproductive and stupid policy, and that's why we won't be adopting them.